Look, you have no business saying he has a face like a jack-o'-lantern when you look like one of those zombie bots that came out of Transformers Prime. Hey, what's up YouTube land? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Thunderwing. So here we are. There he is. He's a very cool figure. He makes me tingle in all the right places. And we're just going to get right down to it. First thing we'll do is we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Wow, that really was quick. That's a fun little game to play with your pause button. But anywho, let's get down to the figure. As you can see here, Thunderwing is what they call in the packaging a stealth jet. Very nicely done, though. I do like the the scaling detail going down the back of the jet. It looks like reptile scales or something. It looks really cool. I do like it. It pretty much goes all the way down the jet. It starts at the nose and just works its way all the way down the back of the jet. And that looks really cool. I do like that very, very much. And he does... If you come down here to the nose cone, he does have the little... Recon Drone, which is pretty cool in its own right. It does have a little bit of that scaling detail going down it. A little thruster going on back there. Pretty cool. You can see this thing just kind of scoping out Autobots. Okay. Of course, when you take this out, it leaves this nose cone a little hollow, but hey. It's all right. But yes, very nicely done. He does have a lot of armament. Now besides the big missile launchers here, he actually has missiles on either side of his missile launchers. And then he has these two guns on either side of the nose cone. And then he has what looks like two more guns on either side of the wings. So he is armed to the teeth. And that is just crazy. That's gangsta. You can bust all kinds of caps. But yes. And he does have landing gears, which do have little rolling plastic tires, which I like. That's a nice touch. And he can actually roll pretty well. Which is a nice little touch. Now, one thing that does bug me about this alt mode is he does suffer from RUJS, which is Robot Under a Jet Syndrome. Because if you turn him over, yeah, there's a scrunched up robot under there. I mean, he looks great from the front, looks great from the top, looks great from the side, looks great from the back. But when you turn him over, boop, oh look, it's a little, it's, it's a little scrunched up robot under there. <laughs> that, that's just disappointing. I mean, there's nothing hidden. I mean, his arms are right there, his body's right here, his legs, his feet are right there. It's just, that's the one real down point of this alt mode. So basically, just always look at him like this, and you'll be happy. Now, for comparison, here he is. Let me, let me raise my camera a little bit. Here he is next to a classic Starscream. You can see he's a little bit shorter than a classic Starscream. But the uh, the wingspan is pretty much the same. And that's pretty much it for this mode. So we'll get on the transformation. Um, first thing I'll do is, I like to pop these missile launchers off. I mean, you can leave them on while you're transforming them, but for... Just because of the fact that these pegs are so small, if I bump them, they pop right off anyway, so I just tend to take them off. And they do fire these little, uh, these little orange missiles. There you have that. So I'll just put those to the side. Now, first thing, you want to take these little fins, put them down. Take these sections of the wings, bring them out. Take the whole cockpit section. Bring up the landing gear. Bring this whole section up. Like that. Fold up these landing gears too. And you want to untab this whole back section here from the back of the legs. Bring it up. And bring this section down right on top of it. And you have that. 
You don't have to do a damn thing to his arms because his arms are right there. There's no transformation involved in the arms. And you want to bring his knees up a little bit just to free up this panel. You want to bring it up. Then you're going to grab his legs and pull out this whole section right here, which is a little tight on mine. You close that back up. You can open up his feet. He does have jet fire feet. But I don't mind. Some people have complained about it, but I don't mind. Just rotate his hands to make sure you see his fingers. And then the last thing you do, take this panel, just bring it down, and voila! There is Thunderwing in robot mode. Oh, you can bring down these little guns too. Just angle them out. And there you have him in robot mode. He is very cool though. I, I do like this robot mode. This this design is apparently more indicative of the comic book version of Thunderwing. Not so much the original toy. But I like it. I think it's a very cool design. Just getting close on his head here. Now, <laughs> uh, I believe it was Rex4441 that commented... He made a comparison that his head... Looks like a jack-o'-lantern. And now that I really look at it, yeah, it does. And especially the way the mouth is. Yeah, he, his, his face looks like a jack-o'-lantern. And the face that his... The fact that his eyes are orange doesn't help either. Although it does have very nice light piping here on his eyes. But yeah, the orange light piping with that... <laughs> with that mouth design just really makes him look like a jack-o'-lantern. I, I do agree with him on that. <laughs> Good eyes, Rex4441. Good eyes. But yeah. And of course, you can take his missile launchers if you want. You can take them, plug them right back on the wings. If you so choose to display them that way. You have them with the missile launchers just sticking up out of his wings. Or, of course, you can have him holding them. It's such a crazy idea. It just might work. Maybe he actually wants to hold his guns. Hmm. There's a thought. So there you can have him dual wielding guns. Or you have another option. Now each gun has two tabs. Focus. Two tabs up top. And two slots down below. And what they're for is you can actually take these guns and combine them. Just take them, put them together, and whoa! That launched pretty damn far. I hope I can find it. <laughs> but, uh... Missile overboard! You can actually combine these guns. But for some reason, mine don't want to stay together now. Come on, man! Don't do this to me! Not on camera! Please, not on camera! Oh, God. Oh, God. But you get the general idea. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay together for me. Hold on. Let me try it the other way around. Damn it, this is going to work. Whether you want to or not. There you go. So you can... Ah. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Why? Why? Stay together. There you go. We can combine them into a, a BFG, which is pretty cool when it actually stays together! But, I like it though. Now one thing that I found very interesting when I read his bio on the back of the package, it, it basically tells you that Thunderwing is a badass. He is just a really powerful, badass guy. He is such a badass that even Megatron... Even Megatron is a little, a little afraid of him. When I get on that battlefield, I'm going to rip those Autobots apart. I'm going to tear them apart. I'll kill them all. And then I'll find Optimus Prime, and I'll rip the Matrix right out of his chest. And then the Matrix will be mine. All mine. You got a problem with that? What? Me? No. No, not, not at all. You, you do that. You do that. I'll just 
I'll, I'll just be over here with my, with my minions, minions, minions. Talk about a power trip. Huh. Wow. I'm moving on. He is very cool, though. I really do like this figure. The articulation, his head, it is on a ball joint. There is a ball joint back here that you can see, but there is no real up and down motion. You can only turn his head from side to side. Um, shoulders are on the ball joint, but these little guns hinder the articulation because they'll bump into the wings, which sucks. We can bring his arms into that. He has bicep swivel, elbow, wrist swivel, uh, no waist joint. Uh, hips are on the ball joint. And there is a thigh swivel. Uh, good range of motion on his knees. And the feet can only do a little bit of forward and back. There is no pivot. And these little side skirts here, they can move in and out. So not bad articulation. Not bad at all. I mean, you can, for the most part, accommodate any pose you want to put him in. He doesn't look even now. That's better. Now, for comparison, we'll bring in another Seeker. And you can see here, he is he is a little short. He, he's a pretty short deluxe. He comes up right to about right where uh, Dirge's forehead kind of ends there. He's kind of short. And I figured I'd give him this, because at one point in the comics, he did actually have control of the Matrix. Now, this is the Matrix from uh, the Beast Wars Neo Optimus Prime. Because, unfortunately, his hands are molded in such a stiff plastic that there is no, there is no prying these fingers open enough to wedge in the proper Matrix. So, this is the next best thing I could come up with. So, I figured I'd have him hold a Matrix. Because he's that badass... But yes, all in all though, very cool figure. I would say pick him up if you find him. He, he's definitely worth the grab. So definitely pick him up when you see him. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Thunderwing. And this is Emgo, rolling out.